What's up, guys? You are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Nam the Kano's parent burial. Do not test the wrath of IPOP members. Oaneze tells Nigerian police. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there's a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead and hit on that red subscribe button. Click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest news updates. All right, here are the news in details. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group, Oaneze Ndigbo Youth Council Worldwide, on Tuesday, tax the Nigerian police to avert any form of clash with the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, which will turn to bloodshed of Igbos during the forthcoming burial of the parent of Nam Dikanu. The group made this known in a statement signed by President and Secretary General of Ohane Zendigbo Youth Council Worldwide, Mazi Okechuku Isuguzoro and Mazi Oko Nabuike and forwarded to Daily Post in Abakaliki Ebony State. The statement read in part, We urge security agencies not to test the wrath of Biafra agitator or Ndigbo as the paramount ruler of Afaruku community, Eze Isaac Kano and his wife, will be laid to rest on Friday, February 14, 2020. On as a youth will not tolerate any form of intimidation, harassment, provocative show of force, arrest, and killing of any evil man under the guise of maintaining peace where there is no crisis. We we'll remind the police on the need to stop further use of provocative and inciting media releases and interview to incur the wrath of the people during the burial rite of the paramount ruler of Afaruku community. Eze Isaac Kano and his wife, as there will be influx of foreign dignitaries from all over the world. The dignitaries from all over the world will use the opportunity to assess if the allegation of harassment level against the Nigerian police and the army on IPOP are true. We urge the Commissioner of Police, CP Okon Abia, State Police, to withdraw his threat of unleashing mayhem against his citizens and tactically tender unreserved apology to IPOP. Biafra agitators are not known for violence, and in nature, the Commissioner of Police Okon should not create an opportunity to make peaceful state of Abia turn into flames or engulfed by crisis. One is will engage with all stakeholders to avert avoidable arrest or killing of any evil youth during the burial rites. The group, however, call on IPOP to jettison any, provocate, any provocation that will turn the burial of the parent of their leader, Nam Dekano, into bloodshed of innocent citizens of the state. We urge Biafra agitator, especially IPOP members, to join other sympathizers and family of the late Paramount ruler of Afaruku community, Eze Isaac Kanu, to be of good conduct and avoid using anything that will jeopardize the burial right process as custom demand. IPOP should not allow the repeat of Oraifite sad episode and they should not engage security agents in any way. IPOP should ensure that, that they avert avoidable bloodshed during the burial. We plead with IPOP members not to display any Biafran flag or uniform as there is no reason to lose any life while trying to bury the king and queen of Afro local community. Abia, Abia state is safe and secure and there should be no bloodshed or massacre. It will be resisted, the group uh, stated. Wow. All right, guys. Um, Ohan is a youth. You understand me? I've actually spoken their mind and I've actually warned the two parties. Yeah, they are warning the police you get for the police to stay off the burial site of you know um easy you know sami kanu again they also want ipop not to display biafran flag you get because if you study the whole scenario you discover that there are people that want bloodshed you get the police and the military they want bloodshed so this thing is a trap it's a trap and many dignitaries will be coming from all over the world but the question that a lot of people are asking which the federal government have not been able to answer the military or the police have not been able to answer is that why deploy 
security operatives to a burial of you know and easy the period of now they can why deploy security there is no known crisis in that region you get the only crisis they had was when you know there was a clash between ipop members and the police and according to the police the police actually uh, alleged that ipop member killed two of their police officers which later it was found out to be actually be false that those people that were born you know in Oraifite where was actually um ipop members you get and number of times the police have invaded this afaroku you know kingdom there was a time it was invaded with the aim of actually capturing namdekan or killing him and that actually caused namdekan to fled you know afaroku and subsequently that led to the death of namdekan's parents because according to ipop and namdekan he said that it was the invasion of the kingdom of afaroku that caused the death of his parents that his parents could not watch to see how their children were being slaughtered and killed by nigerian by nigerian security operatives without having the heartbreak they had that subsequently led to their demise you get so that is what actually happened so now today again they are, are now in afaruku again and you know that a lot of dignities will be coming from around the world this is not just an ordinary uh, family burial this has turned to become a state burial even ikbezu the Abia state governor has made a donation that he has already you know cleared the road he has made the he has repaired the road leading to afaroku kingdom because a lot of Igbo sons and daughters are going to be arriving home for that burial so to me i feel that there should have there should have been no need for that show of force because this is actually threatening and this is not actually very good so what people are, are actually commenting i'm going to read people's comments and then at the end of it i want you to to also drop your own comment below nam Kano has been reported that he was going to come there's and there is this you know um there is this opinion you get nam the himself said it that he was going to come but a lot of ipod people and Ibus are telling him to stay off because if they capture him this time they're going to kill him that he shouldn't come that his burial will be conducted by the community and the state you get so he should stay off what he has said he was going to come so but we don't know the um the modus operandi how everything is going to be because looking at the way now they cannot beat the nigerian intelligence to escape from nigeria could it be that the same uh uh the same will be repeated again on him breaking the nigerian barrier and security in a system in nigeria to come to that burial and that is why you see there are a lot of checkpoints leading to the afaroko checkpoint all over the place you get so this is not going to be very easy guys um i i just i just pray that ipop should not ipop should not display their flag you understand but they could come they could dance they could do any other thing observe all the burial rights but they shouldn't display their flag because this is a trap this is a trap so that is what i'm actually saying these people want this to happen so that they will have a cause to actually checkmate i mean to stalemate the burial that's what they want to do they want to stop the burial and if they stop the burial you know what that means you get so this is the plan of some people to cause mayhem crisis and the cause bloodshed so but it should be resisted by all means and that is what the oanese youth council is actually trying to say berating the police for the show of force already the police said that no ipop members should come near the burial of you know um eze kanu you get it? the king the king of afaroko they say no ipop should come near and all of that so you see these are very insightful statements that can only that actually cause a lot of problem there are ipop members that could that could that 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 that, that are fanatics they could want to do anything they want to do and see what the nigerian police force or the military are going to do i bet you there are some of them that are going to stake their life to do this you get it? so but on the whole we apply for caution we apply for wisdom wisdom should be used for these people blood suckers not to have you know um not to have 
uh, opportunity or not to have a chance to do what they want to do. So I'm going to read a few comments here. Uh, some, this, somebody here says, the police should stay away from the burial. They are not needed. It is Biafra issue. They are not invited. Let them do it their, let them do it their own way for peace sake. Another guy here says, that is true. Nigerian police and other security agents should not cause mayhem where it seems to be none at all. They should allow a free befitting burial to hold ground in respect of Nam Dekano's parents. Another person here says, Nigeria is full of too much wahala. Hardly you hear a very good story from this country, either from the government or religious makers. Another person here says, we must use the flag because Nam Dekano's parents are our members. Or oh, I didn't say, shame on you. Another person here says, uh, okay, this one, another guy here says, Oan is a senseless group. You are inciting, you are sitting on the fence. You can't talk straight. So you expect the government to bow down for a proscribed group in the name of a burial? If you love your people, I pop, tell them to stay away. They will kill them and nothing will happen. If you don't know, government can tell you to stay away from the house you built by yourself and you must obey. So what rubbish are you insinuating? If cannot love his parents, tell those idiots called IPOP to stay away. All right, another person here says, calling for peace, maintaining peace where there's no crisis. There are palaces that need security agencies, palaces like Kaduna, Niger Boundary. There are villagers. Okay, see, there are villagers that are no longer stay on farm. Okay, I don't understand this English. Another person here says, um, oh God, that one that lies. Our flag must fly. Our uniform is a must. Even the clear Biafra itself stand our flag. Another guy here says, I pop are not full and knees. We use our heads correctly, so let the armies run. Enter forest now. Sharp, sharp. All right, guys. So um, that is what is happening. We pray for the peace and successful burial of Namdekano's uh, parents. The dead should be led to rest. And we decry it. We decry the fact that Nigerian military sent uh, mili I mean, security operative to that barrier is something that is condemnable, is not good. We decry it and we utterly protest against it. These people should be allowed to bury their dead. You get it? The Bible said, Let the dead bury the dead. So, these people are mourning, they should be allowed to bury the dead. I don't know if the kind of comes or not. That burial should be a success. So, that is it, guys. What do you think? This is my TV. God bless you all.